Ever wondered about going to Europe's poorest capital city? Got an urge to see stunning Soviet architecture? Oh. Feel the need to go somewhere where transport makes totally no sense whatsoever? Yay! Welcome to Moldova's capital city, Chisinau. Okay, let's run through the basics. Moldova's in Eastern Europe, sandwiched between Romania to the west and Ukraine to the east. With no big cities around, it's generally in the middle of nowhere. With a population of half a million people, the capital city of Chisinau is located in central Moldova. Having been within the Russian Empire and Soviet Union, Russian culture is still very strong within the country, but recently there are shifts towards the European Union. The main sites in Chisinau include the train station, the cathedral, St. Theodore's convent, the Arc de Triomphe, which lights up at night time, looks very nice. The National Museum, great for seeing Moldovan history. Uh, the Natural History Museum, great for seeing soil and glass cabinets. And the War Memorial, which is a giant orange tripod thingy. Because, well, why not? Hmm. Poverty, poor transport, terrible museums. Just reminds me of home. So how do you get to Chisinau? Located miles away from any other major city, Chisinau is notoriously hard to arrive into. The capital city, sure, Chisinau has its own airport, but because Moldova likes to do things the hard way, it's terrible and only serves about three different places. So the average traveler will probably arrive by train, from Bucharest, this takes around 11 long, arduous hours. So here's what you can expect. Buy your ticket, board your train, and off you go. The train itself is one of the old style 1970s Soviet trains. So the facilities are second to none, such as this, and this for comfort. Then you'll have to deal with the delights of the border crossing into Moldova, which can take up to, seriously, three hours. Part one, hand over your passport, which you'll get back after a long, awkward wait, and then part two. So it was decided years ago that Moldova would have different sized train tracks to its neighbors to stop smuggling, which might have been a fantastic idea back then, but come on, not now, Moldova. So your train stops, and it's surrounded by a swarm of depressed engineers and cranes. They lift each carriage of the train up individually, one by one at a time, onto new tracks. After three long, grueling hours, once the whole train has been put onto new tracks, you can carry on your journey. Now, it would make sense for Moldova to have normal-sized train tracks, but, you know, Moldova. Off you continue with your journey, and you'll reach Chisinau in maybe about five hours' time. Let's look at the good points of Chisinau. Yes, Chisinau is a truly ugly city, full of awful buildings, but there are a few hidden gems. I highly recommend seeing the Orthodox Cathedral and the Blue Convent Church of St. Theodore Tiron. The city's neoclassical cathedral is busy, massive and airy, with an impressive dome and covered in mosaics and Orthodox icon paintings. Whereas a 20 minute walk down the city's main avenue, the convent is an intimate, dark, spiritual, candlelit experience. Plus, if you're lucky like I was, the monks will give you free food. Woohoo! Now the bad point. Cheesy now is full of walkway tunnels, running under busy inner city roads. Nothing new there. But please remember, this is Moldova. For you see, these pedestrian tunnels are far from people friendly. There are lights inside, but looks like the city cannot afford to actually switch them on which means you'll have to walk through these portals of drugs and nightmares in pitch blackness. As you put your life on the line, some of the obstacles that you may face range from loose paving stones, slippery surfaces, a multitude of beggars, to a plethora of sharp pipes jutting out of the walls. It's just so much fun. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Chisinau is full of weird and wonderful things, but perhaps the strangest, most frustrating, soul-destroying entity has to be the city centre bus station, a building seemingly built on the ideals of no forward planning and chaos. 
So, you arrive. Look at the information screens for your bus. Yes, it has a platform. Yes, it has a departure time. But that's where the normality ends. The actual building itself has no visible platforms and the bus parking zones become a free-for-all that look like a scene out of Fast and Furious, but with buses. Plus, directly outside and spilling into the station grounds is an open-air market. So, good luck trying to find your bus in Motor Mayhem, Market Madness, and a swarm of people selling anything from vegetables, chicken, babushkas. It's pretty crazy. Possibly the best day trip from Chisinau would be to visit Tiraspol, the capital city of the breakaway region of Transnistria. Well worth a two hour one way trip to see fields of poverty, angry Russian soldiers, and a chance to get your hands on strange plastic coin currency in a city trying hard to cling onto its Soviet past. But more about that another time. So what to get from Moldova? Now like anywhere, there'll be a whole range of tat and rubbish that you can buy, but the national souvenir that I found was this Moldovan folk heart. Now there's a whole story behind this apparently. So, Moldovan boy falls in love with Moldovan girl. Moldovan boy and girl have to split and boy kills himself. His red blood seeps into the fields and lays the ground for flowers to pop up and grow. It's a typical story and not creepy in the slightest. Okay, so let's round this off with the capital city scores. So, does Chisinau have a famous natural landmark? Um, no. Does Chisinau have a famous natural object or artifact? Um, no. Does Chisinau have a famous built landmark? You know what, I'm actually going to give this to it and I'm going to go for the Arc de Triomphe and the Cathedral. They're Yay! the national symbols of Moldova. Does Chisinau have any historical or cultural famous objects? Um, no. Does Chisinau have any traditional or modern art masterpieces? Um, nah. So, out of a score of six, Moldova comes in with a less than respectable score of one. So, in the end, if you want to see a place where city planning means completely nothing, a city where just arriving is a pointless odyssey of annoyance, and a city where walking through pedestrian tunnels is a near-death experience, Chisinau is the place for you. Coming up next, Oslo, Norway.